Alright, so the question was uh, how to query your 0365 list and pull the person field. So get the person field. And essentially, um, what I read out of this was you have list A and list B. So when a new event or a new item comes into list A, um, you want to query list B, get the approvers, and then you want to send the approvers an email. Um, and so how I did that, I set up two different lists. So my first list is contract awards. Don't worry about the title, but contract awards, this is essentially my approvers list. Um, and that approvers is saying, you know, workflow training is a set of approvers and then lunch is another set of approvers. Um, you just use the list that I had. So ignore registrants here, but this will be where a new item comes in. Um, so I'm actually going to do this uh, and create a new item um, just to show this one working. And then I'll walk through the workflow itself. So this will be Fintex Connect uh, 0365 query. Oops. It's a query. And then registrants doesn't really matter here. Event. I'm going to do workflow training because that's what's going to be triggered on. And trigger this. Trigger this to get the approvers. All right. So let's save that. And I believe the workflow should start automatically. If not, I'll go check that. Um, but that should start. I'm actually going to go and check this. The workflow should kick off. So it did, uh, which is good. So let's look at the workflow. See what it's doing. Should query gets to list so if we notice that workflow approvers was there so if i go back to here where am i at sorry if i go back to here workflow training is what i typed in so it matches this so it's going to give me the three names and then uh, if we look at the workflow again it's going to extract that information and then it's going to do a count against those and basically sending an email so let's look at the workflow actually validate this so if you see this that is the email that just came through for 30 the time on that so that did just happen 4 30 is when that happened so we do know this is working cool so how did this work so first thing i did is i got the query list so i use the query list i'm not using the one for uh, the site uh querying in different sites don't really need that one with this is one i'm not using this one um and the reason for that is this, i don't need it i'm staying within the same site um so i can actually just use this one and i'm querying the approvers list in my case contract awards and i'm getting it when the title equals the same thing as the event information which is how i have mine set up but just make sure your title whatever your criteria is is set the same um the sorting doesn't really matter in this case um and so what i'm doing here is um i'm grabbing two different things i don't need this so i can actually throw it away um essentially i'm grabbing the approver and this is a people picker so if we go back to this field this is actually a people picker field um in the column so if i go here i can actually type in so jane so this is actually pulling from active directory and the user profile services and so what i'm doing there to make this work is i'm getting that field but then i'm also selecting the work email property from the field and i'm storing that in the collection and then i'm getting a count uh, essentially that's what it is uh, when i first did this i ran into an issue where it was dumping it out but i wasn't realizing it was storing it as an array within the collection and that that was where things got a little tricky so we know that we're dumping two different variables out the first one was approver emails collection and then this is an integer um, so just for sanity's sake i do this you don't have to but i'm dumping the integer out as a count say how many of that i always know that would be a one because it's coming out as a one but it could be two three depending on how you do it and then i'm dumping the collection out i just want to see the raw values and that is what we see here this is a count so it's saying it returned one item because one item was found here it found one and returned one and then also returned the values out of that so that's what's showing up there and then here's the items inside of that so i'm doing that and i log that so i'm doing a build string this may not be necessary but um i found it helpful to actually just convert it to text that way i can use it just in case anything was there so i'm converting this to an email string and then oh, this is interesting um i probably don't need that and the reason why i say i don't need that is i realize that i'm doing a build string converting it to text but i never actually use that again um so i'm going to actually just disable that for now regex this is the important piece so i want to extract the data so I want to extract everything out of here and I just want the emails um, and so I use online regex for that um, and essentially this shows that if I were to let's do this 
show you how this looks if I were to toss it this all I want is the email address it's out so you can tell that this regex is actually pulling out a full match on the emails which is actually what I need so getting that and I'm dumping that back into the same collection so I'm basically stripping out the brackets and dumping the emails back into the collection and that's what we see here and then we output that collection again uh, second time just for sanity's sake we're outputting that you can see that there's a clean um, there's no brackets around any of these just clean in individual items so now that I have my collection where I want it I can then count and that's what I did just did a straight count here how many items are in there and this is actually treating it as a collection we can see that here saying three because that is correct there's three items in there um, and then I'm actually doing a for each and the for each what I'm using there is I have items in the collection and they're indexed I don't know which ones are at what position uh, I could get those but instead of doing that, I'm just going to do a for each and go through each one of them so as I go through the collection I'm going to select their information one at a time and output the item in the collection and the index so it's going to give me both the number and the position and then the value so the position here and then the value and I'm going to get that I'm going to log it so I actually see it come out the position value and then I'm going to use that to send an email so I'm storing the value now as email because I know it's an email address and I'm just doing a test so doing that and that works so if I come back and look at this value email value email value email so it does work works as it should and everything looks good so I hope that helped um, uh, I will actually upload this you can actually simply just import this come back here I'm gonna publish this because I did make some changes uh, and I'll run through another test and then I'll export it and put it up on the community now uh, so you can take a look at that but I hope that helps solve the uh, question what you have about using query list um, this is one I should probably do a blog on as well using a query list with an array uh, how to get that and regex is really important in these because it's not a straight one-to-one -one. Um, but this also works if I were to change this over to pull multiple items so if it had multiple if you were doing multiple items here with one approver set you could do that as well it will pull the same thing but this is showing that it can pull uh, multiple items in a multi-choice field at a single time so it can do that um, so i hope that does solve or at least answer your question if you have any questions uh post them on the community and we'll be glad to respond to it all right thank you have a good day.